Hello and thank you for watching another Ikahal short how-to video by Advanced Network Devices. In this episode, we would like to show two hidden yet very powerful features of Ikahal version 9.1 and above. Um, in the uh, signal strength heat map, the visualization details are for height of one meter above the ground, which is typical for any device that is on the table or it's carried by an individual. However, in environments such as warehouses where you might have uh, uh, heights that need to be covered through Wi-Fi uh, through all the way uh, onto the top of the shelves, um, you would be needing more information about the coverage at those heights. For example, forklifts which do carry Wi-Fi equipment. In order to do that, um, all you need to do is use the control uh, and left click with the options on the Windows platform or the command and uh, left click on the options um, in order to be able to access this feature. As you can see, if I don't click, there is no information about the height here. However, if I left click and use the command key on my Mac platform, you can see that the visualization height is revealed at one meter. We can change this, for example, to three meters and the visualization for signal strength will be displayed for three meters above the ground. Uh, or even higher heights, different heights, depending on what is expected. The uh, second feature has to do with the um, client's observed value of uh, signal strength. As we know, the sensitivity of the equipment that is used alongside ECAHOW to be able to measure uh, signal strength is uh, quite sensitive and might differ from the uh, user's uh, device, depending on what it is. It may be a smartphone, tablet, or a PC. Um, that can be uh, accessed through the uh, visualization bar at the lower portion. If we click here, we can see that uh, there is, again, um, limited information about the visualization heat map that can be changed, such as contour, spacing, the color, the um, legend uh, adjustability, and also the, um, the zones that are outside of the uh, um, coverage area to be displayed with white or gray color. Now, uh, in order to enable this feature, again, we use the command key or the control key, uh, depending on which platform you're using, and we left click on the window. And you can see that now uh, an additional field is revealed. Uh, once we click on the configuration wheel, we can see that uh, we can define different devices and uh, we can define also the, um, the supported bandwidth, the MIMO, the technology, and also there's two other parameters which needs to be discussed here, which are offset values. Now, what are offset values? Let's take a look at an example. Um, in this example, if the uh, client's observed value of signal strength is next 65 and the ECAHOW's observation value is next 60, then we need to set an offset value. The way we set up the offset value is we take the next 65 and we um, basically add the 60 because it's negative and negative, so it's positive. So we get an offset value of next 5. In the other instance, let's take a look at a different example. If the client observed value is NEC55 and then the um, ECAHOW's observed value for measurement is NEC60, then we again take the first value, subtract it from the second value, and we get a positive 5. And these are the offsets that we put in here. So in conclusion, uh, if the client observes the network to be stronger than the survey device, then the value should be positive. If the client device observes the network to be weaker than the uh, survey device, the value then would be negative. Let's take a look at two examples here to see exactly what they are. So we add a device, we call the first profile to be test one, and we set the offset value to um, neg three and neck three for the five gigahertz and we add this 
and we select the second profile and we put this at plus three and we want to see how the visualization will differ okay now we go to the same visualization area need to click on the control command and we first select the test one which was neck tree and you can see the visualization will basically change now if we select the second one which is positive tree you see things will improve because that means that the uh, signal was quite a bit better. So you can see these are two yet very, very powerful features that are within the uh, ECAHO 9.1 and above. Thank you again for watching this short video and we look forward to see you in the future ECAHO instructional videos.